Merlot, the red-headed stepchild. Origin and history. The ancestral home of the Merlot grape is the right bank of the Bordeaux region of France. Today, France is still home to two-thirds of the world's total plantings. Even though Merlot is the fifth most planted grape in France, the varietal has been known to thrive in other areas of the world, such as Italy, Romania, Australia, Argentina, and parts of the United States, like California, Washington, and Long Island. Merlot is relative of the European grapevine Vitis vinifera. The use of Vitis vinifera can be dated back as far as 6,000 years ago. One of the lasting legacies of the Roman Empire was their viticulture footing. Areas with Roman military posts like Bordeaux were used to plant vineyards to supply local needs and limit the cost of long-distance trading. In medieval Europe, the Roman Catholic Church unwaveringly supported the production of wine because of its use during Mass. Profile and Style Merlot is often described as a soft, medium-bodied red wine. It's considered a good starting wine for people who don't usually favor them because it's got low tannic levels and it's very fruit-forward. The fruits featured in Merlot are berries like blackberries, blueberries, cherries, and typically plums with tones of black pepper. It's commonly blended with Cabernet Sauvignon in order to mellow out the cab by reducing astringency and acidity. The styles of Merlot are diverse depending on where the grape is grown. A 1998 Lotora Pomerol can be described as having supple tannins, plummy fruit flavor mixed with minty earth tones, and a silky texture whereas the 2007 from Millbrant Vineyards in Columbia Valley can be described as having darker fruit notes with big drying tannins. Why such a difference in style? It comes down to a mix of soil and climate. Bordeaux soil features nutrient-rich clay with good water retention and drainage, and the climate generally features warm but not hot summers and cool but not cold winters. On the other hand, Columbia Valley soils, which are primarily volcanic with sandy loam. Washington is also hotter with very dry summers. Food pairing. Merlot is a diverse wine, and because of its use in blending, it has an array of matching options. A Merlot with a stronger Cabernet Sauvignon presence pairs like a cab. It goes well with grilled or charred fatty meats like lamb or pork, as well as going with a hearty, rich bouillonnaise sauce. The higher tannins cut through the fat, and the fat settles down the tannins. Yin and Yang. A fruitier Merlot, blended with a Pinot Noir, pairs well with dishes like grilled or spicy crusted salmon, or earthy dishes with mushrooms. By pairing an earthy wine with an earthy food, you create a complement between the two, like with like. Now, a lighter bodied Merlot would pair well with heartier shellfish like prawns or scallops wrapped in bacon or prosciutto, maybe even topped with pancetta. The softer, plummier characteristics are not going to overpower the fish, and the earthiness and the low tannins are going to keep it in step, but they're not going to fight with those fattier pork flavors. It's all about keeping it in balance. There are three factors that affect the ageability of wines. Tannins, acid, and fruit. If there's too little of either of these things, the wine's not going to age well. Now the purpose of aging a wine is to soften it. It allows the tannins to collect and turn into sediment and fall away. Generally, reds age better than whites, but big reds like cabs can age longer than softer reds like Pinot Noir. Now a Merlot, it's generally a medium. It can be aged for about five to seven years. The key with aging is not to wait out the wine and let it spoil. There are some common misconceptions about Merlot I'd like to clear up. The first myth is that Merlot needs to be served at room temperature. Now this arises from the well-known but wrong standard that all whites are chilled and all reds are served at room temperature. Fact of the matter is, red Merlot and Bordeaux blends made with Merlot should be served at 60 degrees. The second myth. Merlot is too earthy. Merlot was given this reputation due to a large volume of grapes being planted in the Central Valley between the mid to late 1990s. The weather was too hot and the soil was too fertile, which led to large crops, making the grapes diluted and giving them that earthy flavor. 
Truth is, Merlot is a diverse wine and is often used in blending. The third myth is that Merlot can't go with fish. This comes from another well-known but wrong standard that red wines go with red meat and white wines go with lighter fares. But as we've seen, Merlot blended in the right combination is able to be paired with heartier fish like salmon or bacon-wrapped prawns. To some, money may be no object, but to most it is. I'm answering the question on what you can expect to pay for Merlot retail and in a restaurant. I found that the most you can expect to pay for this bottle of wine retail is $1,500 for a 750 milliliter bottle of a 1985 Maryland Merlot made in the Napa Valley. Now the least is $5.99 for a one and a half liter of Corbet Canyon. I did comparisons on restaurants around my home and found that the most I could expect to pay for a glass of Merlot was $10.25 at Voltaire and the least was $5.50 at the Salt Cellar. Shakespeare said a rose by any other name would smell just as sweet. I bet there are a few wineries that would beg to differ. Some of the highest quality Merlots come from Bordeaux, California, Chile, and Washington State. These areas have elevated the planting of Merlot in better quality soil, which has resulted in a Merlot that's less suited for blending and perfect for being its own varietal. Popular California wineries producing Merlot are Clou de Bois, Beringer, and in Washington, we have Claire Cellars, and in Chile, Augustinos, and finally, Chateau Angelis in Saint Emilion in the Bordeaux region of France. There are things that are usually, sometimes, but not always true. Like, Merlot is only a good beginner wine. Yes, Merlot is a good middle-of-the-road wine that's sometimes dry, but always considered fruity, but not sugary, sugary sweet. In the movie Sideways, the main character, Miles, snubbed the red wine for being a beginner wine and elected for a drier Pinot Noir. In actuality, Merlots can hold their own against bolder, denser flavors, which makes it very versatile.